I'm Amber Henderson. Um, I am a member of the Jersey Woolly Rabbit Club and um, currently our District 2 Director. So this is uh, Hemingway. Um, he is a you know, broken senior buck and um, he's, a, he's a great example of the breed. What, so what are the features of the breed that you look for? Um, you know, Jersey Woolies are known for that nice big mug head. Um, they have a, a, a thick but short wool cap, um, side trimmings that are um, not blunt but blend into the body wool. Um, and then they're also known for that um, easy care coat. That's especially important for this breed because they were bred to be a pet rabbit. Um, so um, we, you know, if we want this to um, be a good pet for people, um, we're going to want the grooming uh, part of their pet care to be um, minimal so that they can enjoy the rabbit, the rabbit can be healthy. And to pose a Jersey Wooly, you want to align their body parts, okay? Front feet under the eye. Back foot just below the stifle. High point is going to be just above the stifle, okay? Um, you don't want them over tucked or stretched out. What is over, do over tucked again? Over tucked would <laughs> That's a good example of overtucked right there. Um, so an overtucked, an overtucked Jersey Wooly. Her back feet are going to be right behind her front feet, and they typically tend to put their head up uh, higher, sometimes even over the the um, the high point of their back. And she's what does she look like if she's too tucked or uh, stretched out? Stretched out. This is a Jersey Wooly that's stretched, a little too stretched out. Her back foot is, is, she's literally stretched out. Um, almost looks like a hemi here. Right. And um, she, her, her, there's a lot of space between here, uh, between her, her back foot and her front foot. Um, she almost looks like she's laying down. <coughs> But once we align things a little better, there's a little distance here, but no, no um, air, right? You can't really see under there. Um, and she's comfortable. She'll hold this pose forever. Like, what do you want in terms of what the body looks like? Underneath the exterior, we need a, um, a nice, solid body. Do you want a, a good, a decent amount of depth on the shoulder? Um, I'm not really holding the rabbit here. He is just naturally um, sitting up. Um, it's easy for him to do this and to hold this pose for a while. It's natural. It's, yeah, it, it's, uh, it's, it's natural for him. It's easy because it's, built, it's his st structure. Um, he, this is just the way he is. So nice depth here. Um, slight rise that um, peaks just above the stifle and then curves gradually into the table. Nice and smooth. There's a um, bit of a taper between his shoulders and his hindquarters. And um, you want, uh, when you're describing a woolly, uh, you always use words like, uh, like a really good woolly, you describe, you use words like massive, um, bold, uh, solid. Um, how do you see that, how do you see like massive and bold in the jersey Well, they have broad heads. They have um, thick ears. Um, uh, good, really good bone. So, when a woolly has good bone, you're going to see it in their front legs. Um, they're they're um, going to have a nice broad head. They typically have um, nice thick ears. Um, sometimes what goes along with that is um, furring, which just accentuates or compliments, good bone on a Jersey Woolly.